<laughs> yo, 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 guys. So that was pretty epic, right? Guys, I'm gonna kick this video off by saying it is not the equipment, it is the photographer, but having access to good equipment could completely alter your image and could give you a different look, a different feel. And it really depends on the look that you're going for, but my setup has worked for me. And I'm really excited to share those settings as well as my exact camera setup that I used in the making of that film. Teslas are so epic and that was so much fun. After filming the entire video, I always thought of the Canon 90D as maybe not being good enough for commercial work or possibly getting clients. And that was my first cinematic car commercial, but I'd say it did a pretty good job. <laughs> Hold on one second, guys. Let me show you guys this setup. Here's my current setup. I've got the Canon 90D as well as my Rode mic to capture audio. And if you look closely, that is a Sigma 17 to 70 millimeter lens. Let me walk you guys through some of the best settings that I used throughout the entire film. I did have my Canon set to be shooting at 25 frames per second, which gave you a really, really nice blurry background when shooting some of those shots. You could really see the effects of shooting in 25 frames per second when I was really low to the ground and I was filming the Tesla. I, you know, I was in the car and I was moving pretty quickly, but the Tesla was at a bit of a distance away and everything around the Tesla was blurred except for the Tesla itself, which gave you a really nice focus on the subject. A lot of you probably wanted to know the exact color profile that I shot this film in. And to be honest, I actually shot that with Canon's standard color profile, which has given me some of of the best colors Canon is known for its colors. If you guys wanted more control over the colors in post-production, then I would recommend going online and downloading CineStyle, which is one of Canon's flatter color profiles, and it actually exposes the background as well as the foreground a bit better than Canon's standard color profile. Another epic setting that the Canon 90D has had as compared to the Canon 60D as well as the Canon 70D is you actually have access to shooting in 120 frames per second, which makes it, you know, really possible to shoot some really smooth and epic b-roll footage and the setup isn't even that crazy so let me walk you guys through exactly what that looks like we're gonna start this off with the lenses when i was capturing some of those really close up shots with a really nice and blurry background i was using my canon 50 millimeter which the aperture on this guy does go down to about 1.4 which was really handy in getting some of those super beautiful blurry backgrounds and the quality of this guy was pretty nice too so i was happy to have that as a part of my setup another lens that did make a massive difference for me in the production of that film was my sigma 17 to 70 millimeter and hold on guys let me show you guys exactly what this looks like here is my sigma 17 to 70 millimeter here. It does have a variable ND filter on the end of that as well. The beautiful Canon 90D. <laughs> there were a couple bits of different equipment that did make a massive difference for me when I was filming this and a couple of those being my gimbal as well as my drone which I was able to <laughs> fly around all over the place and get some of those angles from the air. It makes the video far more unique and you capture an angle that people wouldn't generally be able to see. Guys, this is my DJI Ronin S gimbal, and this guy made it absolutely possible for me to get smoother shots, even in some of those crazy situations. But I was actually hanging <laughs> out of the trunk of another car, filming with my DJI Ronin S. But the reason that some of those shots look so smooth was, this has been one of the most, if not the most powerful gimbal that I had used. The DJI Ronin S gimbal has absolutely worked for me in my setup, and I was really impressed with how smooth some of that footage came out. <sighs> the holy camera bag. So as far as the drone goes, I did shoot this video with my DJI Mavic Air 2S, which has been such a beast of <laughs> DJI Mavic Air 2S is definitely my baby. Come back, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the DJI Mavic Air 2 has been my <laughs> my baby and the reason I love the DJI Mavic Air 2S is because it is such a powerful portable and yeah just the overall perfect drone for traveling with at least it has been for me if you guys were interested in getting some of that equipment for yourself I'm gonna throw all the links for that down in the description those are affiliate links meaning that I would get a small commission on those sales which would be Great. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of the Canon 90D down in the description, your past experiences with it. Have they been good, bad, shit? <laughs> we are currently in Bali, Indonesia, and this place is absolutely incredible. I am documenting my experience here day by day, and if you guys did want to see more cinematic films and vlogs with the Canon 90D here in Bali, Indonesia, definitely hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.